yesterday a fly got in the house and one of the disadvantages of having a big open floor plan two-story house is when there's a fly in the house it's a lot harder to catch because yeah the ceiling goes up pretty high and we had Lily here and she was following the fly around trying to catch it too and that wasn't helpful at some point we gave up and we knew it would turn up somewhere he did good morning it's Sunday morning it's just before 10 a.m. you can tell we live next to the woods and it's spring bees are buzzing spiders are web making we got kind of a fairly large one in the upstairs uh, well on the staircase in a corner um, yes I'm allergic to arachnid venom but um, they don't send me screaming or anything uh, husband was home so I didn't have to suck it up with a vacuum because he was kind of big <laughs> so and by big I mean like big 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 Anyway, husband got him. We are gonna go out this morning and run a couple of errands. It's Game of Thrones day, of course. So the kids are all coming over, uh, including Gunjin, a good friend of the kids. And um, he's in town visiting, so they're all coming over for dinner to watch Game of Thrones and hang out. I'm taking an Etsy order to the mailbox. And yeah, we'll get our week started. The three big paintings are coming along. They're not done. Uh, I need to add some contrast, darker colors, brighter colors. And I think I want to add the suggestion of trees. I double checked with my husband. He is agreeing with me. He likes more realistic paintings. Um, then I like to paint, but a happy compromise for him is the suggestion of trees, so we'll go with that. Anyway, it's a beautiful day out. Bright blue sky, nice and sunny. Yeah, it'll be good. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It's Monday morning, May 6th. Don't get all excited. I've been up for a while <laughs> um, and the contractor starts today on the outside of the house. We're having the outside of the house painted and some electrical work done and that sort of thing. I'm, as you heard, just booting up the computer. Yes, I'm breathing a little heavy. I had to take an allergy pill this morning, so you know, I do have asthma. so. Anyway, I'm waiting for the contractor to get here and I'm going through my normal morning routine while I'm waiting. It's 7.39 a.m. according to said computer. I'm going to get my typing done and the social media thing, check on YouTube comments, and then I've got some errands to run. So I'm going to do that. I'll take you with me and I'll be back. table that had nothing to do with the big painting so the exception of my word punch evidently because I forgot it <laughs> um, and we're gonna put that down over here right now how to work for the moment um, so I have just my artist paints out I have some jars I've been mixing colors 
um, that I may want to keep for the future, but I definitely want to not have to keep remixing the same color. So I put it in a jar, I make a whole bunch of it, put it in a jar with some slow dry medium and then put the lid on and that works. And those are just jars. Obviously that's a pickle jar I reused from downstairs. And when they're empty and I don't want to make any more of that paint, I can wash it out and reuse it for something, some other kind of paint or something else, another medium, something in the art room. I got asked about the big paintings. What do I have them on? And I honestly don't remember if I showed this in a video or not. I have no idea. But I got some dollar store shower curtains and covered up my cubbies. There you go. Covered up all of my ephemera cubbies are underneath there, all the way down. I also draped some shower curtains over the wire shelves on the wall and the small bits bank. So everything behind the paintings is covered with plastic. And then I have Velcro loops that are tacked to the canvases and where there's a spot on the shelves, shelves available the canvases are velcroed to the shelves. Obviously this one at this end is not velcroed to anything, but it is on the other end. The center one has two straps, so it's very stable. Um, the ones on the end only have one, so when I'm painting on them, I usually hold one side and paint with the other side, so that's that. I do think it's going to be a forest or woods inspired scene with the colorful, cloudy background sky, which is very typical of where I live in the Pacific Northwest. So I think I'm inspired to do that. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it's coming along very nicely. I'm not gonna be able to work on much else until it is done, but that's okay with me. That's it for the moment. I may make a run to Walmart today for a couple things, but otherwise I'm just gonna be home working on stuff. All right, I'll be okay, back. so Gunnar is here. He is um, with um, the mom and pop firm of European Craftsmanship. Um, he has that company with his sons and um, he is here. He's going to be power washing the house and caulking um, today and then um, going and picking up the paint and working on, um, we have to replace the blocks that are behind some of the light fixtures because they're too small for the new fixtures. Um, so he's going to be, he measured and he uh, um, took down notes of what sizes he needs and he's gonna go home and make them and then get them installed, I think tomorrow, because he's gotta get that done before he can start painting. So, but he expects to be done with everything by Friday, so that's good and we took all the lights and put them on the side yard behind the gate, so. <sighs> He's gonna be here two or three hours and then I can go, so. I might, he doesn't need me here, so I can probably go before then. So anyway, that's it for now, I'll be back.
Gunner is outside painting. The trim color is going up. <clears throat> I'm gonna go see if I can get you guys a picture. Hang on. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, May 7th, I think. It's just after 9 a.m. I'm waiting for the painters to get here. I should say the contractors, because they're more than just painters. They're doing a bunch of different stuff all outside for us. Yeah, it's 9.05 a.m. Um, anyway, I got all the social media done. Yay for me. I got my art table cleared off of the things that don't have anything to do with the three large paintings that I'm working on because I'm really not going to be able to do much up here in the art room until those are done. Um, they take too much of my attention and they require too much materials. So hang on a second, I'm going to flip the camera around. So the painter's outside. I think he's got most of the back wall uh, body new body color up. And he's working his way around the house. Um, you can tell. I don't think you're going to be able to see from here. I think the light's kind of too weird. The windows are all covered with paper. Um, I'll insert a picture here. And um, it's a mom and pop operation. And he was supposed to have one of his sons here helping him today. But I guess his son is sick. So he is here by himself. He's making pretty good progress though for working by himself. Uh, anyway, it's interesting. I'm not gonna probably get much art done today, but I'll see what I can do. I'll nice be to done. talk to the camera and have it not be on. So for those of you who follow me on social media, you know I share my daily um, art practice every day uh, on all my social media. Um, I do daily drawings. Sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't. Um, sometimes I'm not inspired by the word at all to create the art and that a lack of inspiration would be why I'm doing two things at once. I'm grabbing garbage bags, sorry. A lack of inspiration would be why sometimes they don't turn out. Sometimes I'm just not doing a good job because I'm too tired. Um, but I do share them every day and the good, the bad, and the ugly. If I don't share something that day, it's usually because I'm just too tired, to be honest. Um, and I usually catch up the next day. But they're always out there uh, for you all to see and um, hopefully learn from or be inspired by. Uh, you know, they're not wonderful like Picasso's or anything. They're just daily art practice, quick little sketches with pen and ink. That's it. So my list of social media links, if you don't already follow me, is always in link tree, my link tree list of links, which is always in the description below every single video all the time. So go check it out and see what you think. All right, that's it. I'm going to go empty garbage cans. I'll be hey back. everybody. It is Wednesday, May 8th, 12.58 p.m. Don't get excited. I'm watching Mike Deacon's vlog. Um, the newest one for April 29th to May 5th. If you don't know who Mike Deacon is, he's one of our fellow mixed media YouTubers, and I will link his channel in the description below. Um, you hear that noise in the background? The house is being painted. Um, we all are also at some point going to get new light fixtures put up and, um, as part of the whole process, and there's a little bit of carpentry that's being done, some repairs, and so yeah. I'm going to take you outside and show you just a little bit of a glimpse of the color change of the house. The painter is out there working and doing his thing. I got a project started for a friend uh, for her shop. I have it upstairs. It's covered in gesso. And I think maybe I might be ready to add some more paint to the triptych I'm working on. It's set for a couple of days because I wasn't sure how I wanted to move forward with it, although I did know I needed to. Um, I think I know now, so I may be adding a little bit of paint to that later this afternoon, too. In the meantime, I'm just hanging out around the house and, yeah, hoping the painter doesn't fall off a ladder. It's really hard for me to focus when, yeah, there's people working on the house, so it's a thing. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back. Hey, guys. It is Thursday morning, May 9th, I think. 
9.22 a.m. You know, I just checked the phone to see what the date was, and I've already forgotten. I think it said the 9th, but yeah. Anyway, Gunner just got here, our contractor, and um, actually I should say our contractor's dad. It's a mom and pop operation called European Craftsmanship here in the Portland area. Um, it's two brothers and their dad. I guess dad started the business anyway. Um, one son is out on vacation. The other son was supposed to be helping him and he got sick with the flu or something. So dad's been here painting all week by himself. <laughs> so anyway, he's doing a pretty good job. Um, glad he's not my dad because I'd be worried about him up on that ladder. As it is, I don't know Gunner. I'm still worried. Anyway, we have a big house. So, um, he said he should be done like Saturday. Did I say it was Thursday or did I say it was Friday? Holy cow. I have really had all my coffee people, I swear. Anyway, we're headed out to go run some errands. I'm gonna go investigate a couple things in Sherwood. There is a Walmart in Sherwood. I wanna, I have a Walmart return, and so I wanna check out the Sherwood Walmart. Turn right on to Southwest 131st Avenue. Thank you, Jeeves. Um, I wanna check out the Sherwood Walmart. I prefer shopping in Sherwood over um, some parts of Tigard. Um, you know, it's like anything else. There's good places and bad places. In a quarter of a mile. Less attractive places in every Fishy city. Road. So, Tigard's no different. So, anyway. I'm going to go check out Sherwood and go check out the Walmart. I might stop by to, uh, Tuesday morning. Well, Tuesday morning is next to Dollar Tree. I might stop by Dollar Tree on my way because I need some more of the disposable shower curtains, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how what kind of mood I'm in. All right, that's it. I'll be back. Seriously, I was just filming without the camera on. Because that's a thing. Again. That's like the third time this week. Anyway, it is Friday morning, May 10th. It is 8.21 a.m. I am here waiting for Gunner to get here. And waiting on a response to a Facebook message before I post uh, my social media things this morning. Um... I need to take and go drop an Etsy order off and I need to run to Fred Meyer, a different one than I went yesterday. I got some display things to put on the different ledges around my house uh, yesterday. Um, I posted in today's thoughts over in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, that I have these, dis these display ledges in the house and I didn't, didn't really know what to do with them. And I kind of had a little bit of an idea, but I got some feedback. And anyway, I decided to just go for it. And hang on one that second. That shop is still empty. They didn't have any more of the cans. So I'm going to go to a different Fred Meyer and hope they have one more of those tall metal cans. And we'll do another grouping over there. How am I going to get it up there exactly? I ain't got no clue. I'll figure it out, though. All right, I'll be back. Another grouping for there. And this is where the paintings are going to go. Well, I got these metal sort of geometric decor things that I just love and they had this metal can for lack of a better word in the back in the garden department it's copper lined and it has a patina on the outside it's probably meant for a candle um, but it looks really great behind the round geometric ball and that spiky thing so I got one grouping for here. Okay. I was pulling this down because the big canvases are done and I just painted all the edges and you can see them back behind me. Well, maybe you can, there we go. There's two on the drying rack. They barely fit and they're hanging over the edge. So nobody sneeze over there. <laughs> and then one on my table takes up the whole table. It's propped up on some paint, cans of paint. Um, and I was taking them down to do that to paint the edges. I usually don't frame my art necessarily. It's expensive, to be honest. Um, and I like the way the stretch canvas looks with just the painted edge hanging on the wall. Um, sometimes I'll write a blessing or um, other just random words I'm inspired to write around the edge of the canvas. I actually have one behind me, that one that I did that on. You can 
maybe kind of see around the edge of the canvas there's some writing. Um, anyway, I was taking down the setup. I got asked a lot, how do I have that setup? Do I have it on easels? No. So these are dollar store shower curtains and they are just clipped to this wire shelf. I have three of these wire shelves hanging on the wall. They're clipped to the wall with binder clips. And then um, I have two of them there and then two of them, um, additional ones. Can you see that? They're taped to the cubes. And then the top of the cubes gives me a place to rest the bottom of the canvas on. And I have Velcro straps on the back of the canvases to attach it to the wire shelving. And that gives me a safe place to paint on the canvases. I don't have to worry too much about dripping and getting stuff on the furniture, but it gives me a place to work on big canvas, so bonus. So anyway, I attached the strips of um, Velcro to the back of the canvas with a little tack. One on each side. So there you have it. Uh, I'm gonna do a sturdy two blah 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 blah. I'm gonna do a t studio tour soon. So if y'all are interested in that, keep your eyes out. Um, I ironically enough was asked, "Do you have a studio tour on your YouTube channel?" By my little sister. I, I don't know what she's doing with it. Or who she's show she's probably sharing it with a friend, but which is fine. Anyway, I, that was when I realized I never really did a proper tour. So yeah. It'll be a bit video by itself. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'm gonna put all my shower curtains away and clean up my mess and get back to it. Okay, so I had a little chat with the um, uh, painter, the work, the contractor, Gunner, and um, he may not get to the doors until tomorrow, but he's gonna make sure all of his tools and things are picked up from the backyard. We have an inner gate we can close so that Lily can still go back there to do her, do her business. Um, we don't have to walk her every five minutes. And then when he comes tomorrow, he's probably coming tomorrow. Um, he may be able to finish tomorrow. He may not be able to finish till Monday. But anyway, when he comes tomorrow, while he's there working in the back, we'll just crate her for a while. And um, yeah, I think that'll be good. I got the Etsy order dropped off at, at McCann's and now I'm gonna head over to Fred Meyer the one in Tualatin to see if they have some more of that metal decor that I want for the other space and pick up some more canned water, canned sparkling water and maybe some vegetables because I don't think we have anything but lettuce and pico de gallo and that's not going to cut it for the weekend so we're going to do that and yeah take care of it in 1.1 miles i'll be back I'm watching lily this weekend so i need to speak to gunner before i leave and see if he can finish the back of the house and clean up the back of the house uh, before three o'clock today and that way I can close the side gate and she can be go going out into the back to go potty and whatnot and um, I don't have to we don't have to walk her every five minutes because that's gonna get old um, so I need to talk to him about that and hopefully he's gonna be done tomorrow as planned because although I like him he's a very nice man um, I don't do the um, out of my normal routine thing very well. I don't do people in my house well. I don't, yeah, it's just difficult for me. So he's a very nice man and he's been doing a great job and will probably be using his company again. But yeah, I just need the job to be done. <laughs> just, yeah. All right, I'm going to do the social media thing and I'll be back. Good afternoon. It's 1 something p.m. Saturday, May 11th, 107, something like that. Anyway, don't get all excited. I looked at the clock. I'm out walking Lily. Uh, the painters, painter is still working on the house he, um, today and tomorrow. He needs to be done by tomorrow. He said, I have another job to go to, so he's trying hard to finish. Lily, sit. Sit. Good girl. So anyway, the doors are being painted today. Um, itchy nose, sorry. Um, also some of the trims being touched up. 
cleanup is starting and then he's got to put up the new outdoor lights and replace the blocks behind the lights. Um, before he's done. And one side of the house needs another coat of paint. So, yeah. He's gonna go take a break. Uh, late afternoon, he's been doing that because it gets really hot, which is fine. I use the break to go clean up. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. But Lily's been crated today because all the doors are wide open. So I needed to take her for a W-A-L-K, as my friend Mike Deacon would have said. Sorry about the background traffic. It is Saturday afternoon and there's cars out on the road because, you know, it's a thing. All right, I'll be back. It's Saturday evening. I got no clue what time it is. Let's see. I don't know. 7.54 p.m. Uh, it's been a crazy day. been a crazy week. You hear that? The contractor is still here. Yes, I said it's 7.54 p.m. He is getting the final touches of paint on that wall over there he's gonna come back in the morning and he's got to do some touch-ups and um, install the new lights and power wash and yeah just finish up things say hi Fred Hi, Fred. and there's Lily we're babysitting Lily this weekend at the same time because you know we don't have enough going on <laughs> anyway we hope you've had a good week it's been interesting for us and um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to follow me on social media or support the free content, click on the li link tree uh, list of links. You'll find a whole bunch of stuff over there. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.